So today I had a, a conversation with uh, Alfredo, I hope I've said that correctly, um, and he wanted to do uh, a program that would erase the last letter from a string. So hello, hell, hell, uh, and so on. It's actually not easily doable in, um, in Flowgrhythm, but um, I've got there. So I've got a, a solution for you and I'll, uh, I'll work through it. So I start off by declaring a couple of counter variables um, and the string and then we input the word. We get the uh, the length of the word and an array that size and then we start a loop which is the size of the array minus one because of the zero index for the array and then it loads the array. So at this point here um, I've got a string with each individual letter in it. Step through that so you can see what I mean. Let's get the variable window up. Okay, and we'll enter a word. So you add hello, enter the word. And if you look over here, you can see there's the array being declared. And that little loop is putting each letter inside the array. So now we've come to a nested loop. So the counter is the length, if we just look a little bit further up, the counter is the length of the letters. Um, we set initial variable to i up to that point and I output the letters. So that, so if we say count, the count is, let's say four, it's going to print the first four letters. Once it's done that, it's going to reduce the counter by one and print out a new line, a blank line come back round again and this time it will be the count will be less so it'll be three and it'll do the next three the three letters it will take one off the counter new line and it will keep going round and round so let's see um, that working so let's get the um, variable window open as well and the output window and step through so we can see it's got the this first time through the loop it's printing the H E L L O. Take one off the counter. Next time through the loop. Next time through the loop. Next time through the loop. And finally done. And if we run that in a single go, you'll see it displays each word just as you wanted going down each time. So I uh, hope that's helped. It's been quite an interesting one. It took me a little while just to get my head around how it all worked. And I'm sure there's probably a better way of doing it, but that's the way I've come up with for today.